It was my original idea that I would post the physics and the math of the disc problem shortly after my video number one. And I refer to this second one as video number two. But it's not there. And the reason for that is that I changed my mind. And for good reason. Only 5% of the answers are correct. 95% of you have a complete misconception of the basics of physics. Many think that angular momentum is conserved. Many think that kinetic energy is conserved. Many think that both are conserved. Many didn't get the idea that omega 1 r1 equals omega 2 r2 in the equilibrium state. Remember, I called that the equilibrium state when the frequencies of both disks no longer change. I therefore think it would be a good idea to wait two more days before I show you the final solution with all the math and all the physics that you will need now that you cannot use the conservation of angular momentum and you cannot use the conservation of kinetic energy. All right, so I will give you a chance to clean up your mess, so to speak. Your mess, <laughs> okay. Yeah, and also clean up your mess. So in two days, I will post then my final, final, final solutions. Take care and please give it another shot. I'd love to see your correct solution now now that you know much more than you knew before. So you've learned some physics. That's my goal. I'm an educator. I teach physics, in case you didn't notice. Have a nice day and take care.